Terry Daggins. I'm superintendent of Pike County Schools. Uh, very proud today to introduce our new program, Peaking into Pike. Uh, we certainly would like to thank Jeff Hawkins and KVEG for the job they do for the students of Pike County and the Pike County School District as a whole. Thank you. And welcome to Off the Hook, a student news production here at Belfry High School. That's right. You are now watching Peeking into Pike, which is a Pike County initiative uh, in sponsorship with KVEC, brought to you by EKB TV. But first, what exactly is Off the Hook? Here's Austin with more. Hi guys, I'm Austin Stafford, the executive producer for Off the Hook. Uh, what is Off the Hook, you ask? Well, let's take a sneak peek to find out. Hey guys, why don't you tell everybody who you are and what you do here? My name is Marie Runyon and I write down the stories and I make sure people get it done. I'm Peyton Atkins and I also help make sure the stories are organized. Speaking of which, Austin, where's your story? Uh, uh, and, uh, on to the next one. Uh, the, hey guys, why don't you tell everybody who you are? I'm Larissa Locker. I'm Logan. What are you guys doing? Well, I'm working as a teleprompter for the anchors. I'm working on the sound. Exactly. Hey guys, who are you and tell the people what you do here. I'm Seth Witt and I edit. My name is Peyton Hensley and I also edit, but I edit on iMovie. I edit with Vegas on a PC and together we make the final product. Hey guys, tell, tell everybody who you are. I'm Chloe. And I'm Chloe, and we're working on the lighting. Because without lighting, you can't see the picture. Oh, speaking of which, who are you guys? Um, I'm JT Mills. And I'm Anna Henson. And we're actually not anchors. We are Belfry High School's ARI Student Senate representatives. Hey, guys. How about you tell everybody who you are and what you're doing? I'm AB, and I'm recording for their show. I'm Haley Robinson, and I'm recording. I'm Haley Justice, and I'm also reporting. And I'm Kiara Level. And I'm, wait, I'm not supposed to be here. Okay then. Hey ladies, tell the people who you are. Well, I'm Sierra. And I'm Alana. What are you guys doing right now? We primarily report, but right now we're on our way for a story. We have all kinds of different reporters that do all kinds of different stories on events in our school and get the inside scoop and, on everything uh, that happens. We kind of got to go film something right now, so. You guys do that. <laughs> <laughs> Those girls, always busy. Oh, uh, whoa. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Tell, <laughs> tell everybody who you are and what, what the crap you're doing. I'm Savannah, and I'm getting B-roll. I'm Lexi, and I'm getting B-roll. Okay. <laughs> nothing nothing out of, you know, sorts here. <laughs> well, guys, that's just a little peek into who we are at Belfry High School and Off the Hook. Remember to tune in weeknights at 8.30 p.m. on EKB TV, peeking into Pike. Well, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Austin. And now that you've learned a little bit about us, let's learn a little bit about Belfry High School. Here are some highlights from what's been going on this year at BHS. Stop to begin.
I want to tell you something. I watched the video of the guy who did Porky the Pig voice. Yeah. He's like, this is how you do it. You do, you take, you add four syllables to the front of the word. You take the word like boy, and you do eh, the, fir, the fir, first two, the syllable, the first syllable of the word, say it twice, and then another eh. Like eh, b b eh, boy. And then you emphasize the second eh, so it's like eh, b b eh, boy. Eh, b eh, b eh, boy. And then you say it like Edwards, like the eh, b b eh, boy, said the itch 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 ear, and the eh, did it ask. And he said, no one else could do that. That's what you call job security. Well, that's all for us. Thank you for tuning in to Off the Hook's premiere at Pigging Into Pock. I'm Brie Runyon. And I'm Seth Witt. And make sure to tune in weeknights at 8.30 p.m. for Peeking Into Pike. Now, on to our friends at Eastridge. Go Warriors! <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Are you telling me that this entire production is read by the students? Yeah. That's so amazing. Stay tuned for math teacher and warrior fanatic, Mr. Dave Ramey, to tell the story of War Eagle. Legend of War Eagle. These notes are transcribed from Native American writings that were on a bear skin found in a cave on the mountain overlooking the current location of the East Ridge High School football field. There was once a proud warrior during the end of his life, who climbed to the top of Lee Creek Mountain to die. The year was 1802. Looking down the mountain, a vision came to him from the Great Spirit. He saw a huge building with hundreds of mighty warriors filing in and out day after day. He saw their enemies one by one climbing the mountain. Panthers, wildcats, hornets, hawks, rebels, black cats, even pirates. Many battles were fought by the mighty warriors. At times, small battles were lost, but eventually all fell in defeat to the mighty warriors. Seeing all of this, the proud, once mighty warrior asked the Great Spirit to give him a long life to see all of these things come about. The Great Spirit revealed to him that it would be 200 years before these events would occur that it would be impossible for him to be granted such a long life. He did tell him, however, that the great warriors would be known by this sign. On their lodges and on their battle clothing, they would wear the colors of the midnight sky and the midday sky, signifying that there are no limits to what they will accomplish. The warrior, unintimidated, continued to seek the favor of the great spirit. Soon the wind began to blow. The rain beat the ground like a war drum. Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. The warrior was turned into an oak tree sapling overlooking the East Ridge. 
Nearly 200 years passed. People came and went, life went on, and the sapling grew into a mighty oak tree. One day a woodcutter came and cut down the mighty oak tree. Immediately a spirit entered him and took his sleep away and he, until he began carving. He carved and carved until he had created the exact likeness of the mighty warrior himself, the mighty warrior whose name had been War Eagle. Now, in granting of the mighty warrior's wish, in eternal youth, he now stands over his mighty warriors, urging them to crush all who come to be East Ridge to oppose them, rolling over them as mighty warriors should. Now, every time the name of the mighty warrior is shouted among the rafters of the huge building, people from miles around can hear the echo, Roll Tribe. I'm Student Senator Lakin Puckett. Everyone from the News Around the Ridge crew is so excited for this project and we are so thankful for the opportunity to showcase our school on local television. We would like to thank KVEC, EKB, and Elkhorn Drug for making this show possible. Most importantly, we'd like to thank our viewers. Stay tuned for our first episode coming next year. Have a good day on and off the Ridge in Roll Tribe. My name is Brady Atkins and I'm a senior. My name is Colin Buster and I'm a senior. I'm Rebecca Diamond and I'm a senior. My name is Bailey Birchfield and I'm a junior. My name is Kelsey Berenger and I'm a junior. I'm Sydney Lowe and I'm a sophomore. My name is Bryce Atkins and I'm a sophomore. My name is Mackenzie Ratliff and I'm a freshman. My name is Kaylin Williamson and I am a senior and I am the producer. I'm Caden Coleman and I'm a junior and I'm the anchor. My name is Layla England, I'm a senior and I'm also an anchor. Here are some exciting things shaking up the nest. Pike Central Marching Band recently wrapped up a very successful season. After months of hard training and preparation, their work certainly paid off. They competed in up to seven competitions, collecting several first and second place awards. They ended up sixth overall when they were competing against 30 bands and three different states. Thank you, Marching Hawks. You've made us very proud. This fall, 214 seniors across the WYMTV viewing area were nominated for the WYMT Mountain Classic Scholarship. We are happy to announce that Pike Central seniors Cassidy Mullins and Makira McCoy have been chosen as the $1,000 scholarship recipient. We would like to congratulate both of these girls on a job well done. This year's Central's Tea Club has participated in several successful community service projects such as the Kiwanis Fall Festival, which was held in Pikeville City Park. They also participated with the Trick or Treat for UNICEF and collected $435, which was donated to Kiwanis Children Foundation for UNICEF. In December, they filled treat bags for the Pike Family Court and Elf Incorporated 20th Annual Foster Kids Party. They also visited the East Kentucky Dream Center to learn about their services and to donate warm winter items to the center you may see this beautiful snow plow on the road soon. The Pike County Road Department recently picked up the snow plow from Pike Central. Jeannie Newsom, Pike Central's art teacher, and four of her art students, Trajan Adams, Montana Blankenship, Owen Gimson, and Natalie May did an outstanding job painting the plow. Our kids uh, really enjoyed doing this. They felt proud to have the school name on something that everybody was gonna see every day. Um, they worked really hard and they worked probably at least 10 to 12 hours on it. Um, it rained a lot during that time and it was really cold, so it took them a while, but um, they worked right through it and did their best and they were proud of what they did. We started as a small project last month with two Central students has turned into an endeavor of gaining attention around the globe. Seniors Rebecca Diamond and Price Atkinson held a gently used coat drive earlier in the fall. I think there are more people who need help than what we want to believe. Rebecca then spoke to her youth pastor, Chris Bartley, at Pop Week United Methodist Church about not needing to leave a coat rack outside the church for people to pick up and drop off coats as needed. So far, we've been able to distribute more than 300 coats. 
People have continued to bring coats, there's even other ones here items like toboggans, scarves, and gloves. This simple concept was shared on social media and has since received over 1,500 shares and attention from people all over the country as well as from missionaries in other countries. We are greatly humbled by the servitude of our own and by the kindness of those who see the value in giving. This project will continue through the winter, so if you would like to bring your gently used coats, you can drop them off at the Pikeville United Methodist Church in downtown Pikeville. So, Mr. Moon, anything exciting happening up here on the hill with music? Yeah, there's all kinds of exciting stuff happening. Um, for instance, we have a concert coming up on the 18th. Uh, it's a band and chorus at 7 o'clock at U Pike Booth Auditorium. You heard it here first, folks. See you there. Hi, I'm Christian Land. And I'm Gina Fletcher. And we'll be taking you inside the hive. Welcome to Inside the Hive. Each week we'll showcase Phelps High School and what's going on in our Phelps community. Our goal is to bring our community and school clusters together. From academics to sports, Inside the Hive has you covered. Now join us for our sneak peek of our first season of Inside the Hive. And now in the Inside the Hive studio, we have 2018-2019 talent show winner, Noah Wolford. <coughs> I know you loved him. Long time ago, even now in my arms, you still want him. I know, but darling, this time let your memories die, just hold me tonight. Don't close your eyes. Recently, Phelps High School held their annual talent show. We're here with winner Noah Wolford. Noah sang the cover of Don't Close Your Eyes by Keith Whitley. Noah, why'd you pick this song? Because it's been my favorite for a very long time. And I remember listening to it when I was little, and I finally learned how to play it and pick the melody of it. And, you know, it's just been a really, really good song for me. It's been, I guess, my number one hit for my songs, I guess. I sing. How do you feel about winning the talent show? I feel really, really good, man. And, you know, I thank everybody for their support and applause they gave me. And, you know, it just, it really means a lot to me. And, you know, I just hope I'll make it in music, you know? How do you feel about your future in music? Man, I, I just, I really see it in, I, th I see it bright. You know, I, I really do want to try my best to, you know, make it to, you know, Nashville. And try my best to play, you know, as much as I can. And it's just that. Music is just my thing, and I love it. And I advise everybody to go get a musical instrument and start picking it and playing. So All right. Well, really once again, congratulations, Molly Wynn. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you for your time. Now let's hop across campus and watch our little singers participate in the 32nd annual Phelps Elementary Tree Trimming. Hi, we're here at Phelps Elementary for the 32nd annual Tree Trimming, where Pete Wolford has come back to see what music teacher Rebecca Guzlin has done to carry on this tradition. We have spoke to Ms. Guzlin and this is what she has to say. This year will make nine years since I've been doing the um, program, the tree treatment. I started in 2003 and for 2003-2004 and then I started working here in 2012 and then so today's 2018. The weather is very unpredictable at this time I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. Um, after Thanksgiving, the kids come in and you can actually see it's just sparkle. As they see this 12-foot Christmas tree, we, Miss Lester, she does a wonderful job making sure that the whole school is decorated. It looks like a winter wonderland. And when kids come in, they can't wait to decorate the tree with their ornaments. Now, 
let's introduce our Inside the Hive news crew. From all of us at Phelps High School, we'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello Wildcats, my name is Ethan Miller, and this is your announcements. Sadly, the time has come for us to take our semester exams. With Monday, December the 17th being our fourth period exam, and Tuesday, December the 18th being our fifth, sixth, and seventh period exams. And lastly but not least, Wednesday, December the 19th being our first, second, and third period exams. Don't forget to study. And now it's time to spread some Christmas cheer with the band concert being December the 18th at six o'clock p.m. in the Valley Elementary Gym. This will feature the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade Valley Elementary Band and our SBHS Jazz and Concert Bands. Speaking of the band, I'd like to congratulate all 17 students who were selected for all county band and for the 15 who moved on to all district band. Out of all 10 counties, SBHS had the most first chairs. Our cheerleaders competed in the KHSAA State Super Large Division at the Kentucky Horse Park. There were 14 teams that competed. To get there, you had to get first or second in your region. Our cheerleaders medaled and got fourth in the state. We have achieved a lot here at Shelby Valley High School. Here's a little glimpse at what you may have missed. We've won two All-A regional championships. We advanced one year to the Elite Eight and All-A. My name's Seth Johnson. I won District Player of the Year. Uh, we've won the district uh, multiple times in the past five years, won regional championship. Went to state with STLP. Um, last year, the Shelby Valley Dance Cats were 2018 District, Region, and State Champions. Uh, in the past five seasons, uh, we have over 40 wins. Uh, we've won two district championships. So uh, this year, the uh, academic team, the uh, varsity after team, won uh, Unite Pikes Too Smart for Drugs tournament. That was really cool. The girls basketball team went to the state championship last year. Wildcat Harmony has participated in all district choir. The softball team made it to the regionals last year. So I was telling folks earlier today, I want to be a high school student in Eastern Kentucky right now. All these cameras, these people, we're all here right now because of you all. And on Wednesday, we're launching an ag tech program here at Shelby Valley High School, all right? The thing that I always believed, the thing that I was taught by so many people in my life is that if I wanted to build a life, if I wanted to have a good family, if I wanted to be, to be a happy family person, if I wanted to have a good job, I had to go somewhere else. But when I look up at this, when I look back at this group here, I see a world-class nonprofit leader. I see athletes who are reinvesting in Eastern Kentucky. I see a fantastic business leader. I see a fantastic entrepreneur. And most of all, when I look out here, I see people who can build this region, who can build a family here, who can make this place as special as it is in all of our hearts. But we're sitting now on the precipice of a change in the economy again. Just as we started with hunting and trapping and then moved to timber and then moved to coal, we're about to move again to high-tech industry. That high-tech industry is going to take a lot of forms. 
You all are capable of anything. It just takes hard work, dedication, motivation. I say all the time that we are a network of people who refuse to accept the risk of doing nothing. We may make mistakes, we may not do the right thing every time, but I can guarantee you'll never find us doing nothing. We're gonna fight the good fight. You all are the creators. You're the innovators, and you're the entrepreneurs that are gonna lead this region. Some of you might be involved with App Harvest, but many of you are gonna have your own ideas. You're gonna have your own passions, and you are gonna lead the region. Paint the Plow is a program that's been done all over the country. I'm not sure why we weren't aware of it until just recently, but um, we're the second district in Kentucky to offer this. And it's an opportunity for the art students in our high schools to use their talents to paint a plow that uh, hopefully lots of folks will see during snow and ice season. We, we designed it based on like the World War II fighter planes and bombers. You know, how they'd paint like a shark and stuff on the front of those. So that was kind of our inspiration for the Wildcat. 